Mr. Lewis Ng. Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, the MSF had replied to Mr. Lewis Ng in a similar PQ on the 5th of October 2021, sharing how MSF resources FSCs to carry out casework, group work and community work. Our position has not changed and Mr. Lewis Ng may wish to, rep may wish to refer to our earlier reply. Thank you. Mr. Ng. Uh, thank you, sir. I thank MOS for the reply, but actually it's, it's a different question. I'm asking uh, what is the, uh, the average number of uh, social workers in FSCs who are focused on community work? And I ask this because they, they have feedback to me that FSCs and social workers really do want to focus on that, to go upstream, uh, to solve and, and address some of the problems they are seeing downstream. And, and the problem now is the lack of funding. I think MSF only provides funding for one headcount per FSC who handles a very large area. So could I ask whether MSF can look into this further and study how we can help FSCs, uh, social workers do more community work? Thank you. I thank the member for his uh, supplementary question. Uh, I think for the benefit of everyone who is in Parliament, I would like to share and clarify that the MSF provides funding to the FSCs for casework, group work and community work. The member is specifically asking about community work. Now, what is community work? It refers to a method of social work intervention when the community setting is utilised to enhance individual and family social network support connections, as well as to build capacity in local communities to respond to the needs of individuals and families. So right now, the MSF funds the FSCs based on the actual number of cases managed so MSF funds casework funding. So it's not just one headcount that uh, the member has mentioned. Uh, the MSF funds two fixed headcount to carry out group work and community work and five other fixed headcount when it comes to admin and corporate functions. As to how the FSC wants to internally allocate work um, and um, the funding within the FSC, that is not something that the MSF uh, intervenes in. Um, and it may change from FSC to FSC. Uh, but I would just like to assure the member that we are fully supportive of what the FSC is doing for individuals, families and the community. And our funding approach takes into account, as I mentioned, casework, group work and community work. Thank you. Mr Liu Seng, a short SQ, please. I, I understand all that and I agree with MOS that we, we are doing quite a number of things for FSC but the short question really is can MSF just look into this and find out how many social workers are focusing on com work in FSCs and then at least we can see the results of that and change our policies. Thank you. Um, I thank the member for his uh, supplementary question. I think there is no doubt that we want to help and assist and support our FSCs as much as possible. His question has been phrased with regards to community work, but community work cannot exist in silo. We are working with individuals and families at the end of the day, and it, it depends on what level of interventions are needed. And that is why I have taken some care to share that our support for FSCs spans casework, group work and community work. And we have different funding principles for the three categories. But depending on what the FSC sees as the needs in the community, the FSC may determine within themselves how to allocate work between the different functions and also to allocate the funding within the FSC. Thank you.